I have to say it was one of the strangest car rides I've ever had. Can I take off the blindfold yet? Yeah, you can go ahead and take off the blindfold. OK. What? <laughs> All right. This is what you do when you want to go foraging for wild mushrooms. I'm with my friend, Chef Chris Amendola, a forage restaurant in Baltimore. And he's taken me to one of his secret places to find wild mushrooms for Absolutely. free. Absolutely. But I, I've been sworn to secrecy, so I have no idea where we are, except somewhere in Northern Maryland. What are we looking for today? So today we're looking for a lot of the summer mushrooms. So mm -hmm. chanterelles, black trumpets, chicken mushrooms, maybe some bolites. Uh, wow. We'll have to see what happens here. As we walk deeper into the woods, Chris explains where mushrooms are most likely found. If you know your trees, you're going to know your mushrooms. So this time of year, we're looking for a lot of hardwood trees, so maples and oaks. Mushrooms love dark, moist areas, and trees provide the shade and the right forest floor. And a wet area nearby is key. I look for sources of water and start walking around. It's just random after that? Yeah, it's just random. It's, a, it's all about looking for the trees. We turn off the beaten path and make our way through the thick forest. Oh, hey, yeah, look at this. Is that a mushroom? Yes. This mushroom here is actually a poisonous variety oh. called an earth ball. So this is a poisonous mushroom you don't want to eat. OK, well, I'm not getting anywhere near <laughs> it. <laughs> It's always a good idea to do some research if you're planning on foraging for wild mushrooms. Pick the wrong kind, and it could be a fatal mistake. Fortunately, Chris knows what he's looking for. Oh, Al, you see anything? I see a plastic bag, but that's ah, that about it. That's not a plastic bag. It does look like it. This is a chicken mushroom. AKA, chicken of the woods. Let's pick it. <laughs> awesome. Let's just, see if we you just pull it right up? Yeah, so. Generally give it a little wiggle and uh, oh, pull, pull it up off the tree. Can I feel it? Absolutely. Oh, it's really light for the size. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably one of my favorites. Now we just need a few chanterelles to go with it. Look at all these ferns. Yeah, so this is uh this is one of the main one of my main spots. So oh, really? this is where we really want to start okay. looking for uh for chanterelles here. We crisscross the underbrush looking for that little splash of color. Chris, this is kind of like being on an Easter egg hunt. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> I like to call it a treasure hunt. <laughs> it is. And then Chris strikes gold. Chris, did you find something? Yeah, there's some chanterelles over here. It's a nice little haul, and all this foraging is making me hungry. I can't wait to get these back to the restaurant and cook them up for you guys. So it's back to Baltimore and into Chris's restaurant kitchen. Well, it looks like your sous chef has got to set up really nicely to yes. prepare something. What are we going to make today? So today we're making our mushroom stew with toasted pine nuts, ricotta cheese, and a poached egg. Wow. And what are all these ingredients? So here we have a little bit of brown butter, garlic puree, thyme and garlic. This is shiitake and oyster mushrooms. Fiend's herb, a little bit of whole butter, onion puree, shallots, lion's mane mushroom, mushroom stock, ricotta, and pine nuts. What are the steps for this? So first, we're going to get our mushrooms cleaned up. And then we're going to cut them up or tear them up, in the case of the shiitakes. And then we're going to cook them in their own separate ways. And it all goes together in a bowl? It does. We'll put it all together and mix everything up. And there you go. I got to try it. Yeah. Chris, thank you so much for making this. It's a beautiful dish. I helped you find the mushrooms yeah, today. Yeah, thank you. I had a great time out in the woods with it. It was a lot of fun. Now, Chris, I love a good broth, and this looks fabulous. How did you make it? So we make our mushroom stock with all the trim and scrap from the mushrooms that we get and uh, just simmer it out in some water. And reduce it and reduce it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Intensifies the flavor. Oh, yeah. It's quite good. Thank Let you. me fish out a little piece of mushroom here. I'm guessing you could use just about any mushrooms you wanted for this dish. Yeah, absolutely. You know, whatever your favorite mushroom is or whatever you have at your local grocery store or farmer's market, there's always some kind of fresh mushroom around. What we'd like to do is put the recipe on our website so people can try it at home. Sure, absolutely. So look for it at mpt.org slash farm and give it a shot. You're going to really enjoy this one. For The Local Buy, I'm Al Spoiler. To get the recipe featured in this video, click the link in the description. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on future stories. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest.